In this presentation, we'll discuss the psychopharmacology of mirtazapine. Mirtazapine is a noradrenergic and specific serotonergic antidepressant. It doesn't have effects as monoamine reuptake inhibitor. One significant feature is its effect as histamine 1 antagonist. As a consequence of this, the drug can cause sedation and weight gain. Mirtazapine is commonly used in the elderly population. In this group of patients, insomnia and low weight might benefit from sedation and weight gain. Mirtazapine has no significant drug-drug interactions, and this makes it attractive for use in combination with other antidepressants as augmenting option. Mirtazapine's pharmacology is different from SSRIs, SNRIs, or tricyclics. What makes it substantially different is the fact that mirtazapine has no monoamine reuptake inhibition properties. However, it is a serotonergic and noradrenergic antidepressant. This is because mirtazapine blocks receptors that modulate release of these neurotransmitters. Regarding its binding profile, mirtazapine is mostly an antagonist. The receptors involved include alpha-2, histamine-1, and the serotonin receptors 5-HT2A, 5-HT2C, and 5-HT3. In the next slides, we'll see how mirtazapine enhances serotonergic and noradrenergic activity through blockade of alpha-2 receptors. As I mentioned, mirtazapine is an alpha-2 antagonist. It blocks alpha-2 autoreceptors in noradrenergic neurons and alpha-2 heteroreceptors in serotonergic neurons. We can see in the image on the left how mirtazapine blocks alpha-2 presynaptic autoreceptors in a noradrenergic neuron. What's the effect of this? Normally, activation of alpha-2 receptor triggers inhibitory signals that reduce norepinephrine release. If this signal is turned off, then the noradrenergic neuron loses its inhibition. This means that when mirtazapine blocks alpha-2 receptors, it blocks the inhibitory signal, which increases norepinephrine release to the synaptic cleft. Let's go now to alpha-2 heteroreceptors. Mirtazapine blocks alpha-2 somatodendritic receptors in serotonergic neurons. Serotonergic neurons are also inhibited by alpha-2 receptors. These are located in the somatodendritic region. As the right picture shows, an important site of serotonergic cell bodies is the dorsal raphe. There are serotonergic projections from the dorsal raphe to the cortex. So what is the effect of alpha-2 heteroreceptors blockade? Mirtazapine disinhibits serotonergic neurons in the dorsal raphe, leading to increased serotonin release in the cortex. Mirtazapine blocks serotonin receptors. In this image, the 5-HT3 receptor is shown. Activation of 5-HT3 receptors at the chemoreceptor trigger zone is linked to vomiting. 5-HT3 antagonism can be beneficial in cancer patients suffering from chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting. Mirtazapine is also antagonist at 5-HT2A and 5-HT2C receptors. Blockade of 5-HT2C receptors has been linked to antidepressant effect. Mirtazapine was approved by the FDA in 1996 for major depressive disorder in a dosage range going from 15 to 45 mg a day. In some European countries, mirtazapine maximum approved dose is of 60 mg a day. Mirtazapine is also used as augmenting agent. It is relatively easy to combine with other antidepressants. The valnafaxin mirtazapine combination has been called California rocket fuel. Since it has no activity on monoamine reuptake, it has a complementary mechanism of action with SSRIs and SNRIs. So what's the evidence supporting its use as augmenting agent? The study trial showed that the mirtazapine venlafaxine combination outperformed tranilcypramine. 
However, this finding was not statistically significant. Case series of 32 patients studied the venlafaxine-mirtazapine combination, measuring response rate based on the CGI scale. 44% of patients responded at 4 weeks, while 50% responded at 8 weeks. So, as a conclusion, even though the combination of mirtazapine with venlafaxine makes pharmacological sense, the evidence is limited to case reports. So its use can be considered according to clinical judgment of the prescriber. Mirtazapine is approved only for depression. There are studies supporting its use in anxiety disorders, such as panic disorder, generalized anxiety disorder, and social anxiety disorder. Small size randomized controlled trials support the use of mirtazapine as add-on to antipsychotics for the treatment of negative symptoms in schizophrenia. The mechanism of action of antiemetic drugs involves 5-HT3 antagonism. Mirtazapine is an interesting option for depressed patients suffering from chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting. Mirtazapine has a half-life of 20 to 40 hours. It has no active metabolites and it doesn't inhibit significantly any other cytochrome P450 isoenzyme. It is metabolized by three cytochrome P450 isoenzymes, 1A2, 2D6, and 3A4. It has no significant drug-drug interactions, which makes it attractive for its use in combination with other antidepressants. As we saw in the mechanism of action section, mirtazapine is a histamine 1 antagonist. Antihistaminic effects are among mirtazapine's most prominent features. The blockade of histamine 1 receptors is linked to sedation, increased appetite and weight gain, and dry mouth. Regarding sedation, this effect can appear in up to 50% of patients during the first week of treatment. Regarding increased appetite and weight gain, this can occur in 15 to 25 percent of patients. Tricyclic antidepressants, paroxetine, and mirtazapine are strongly associated with increased risk of weight gain. There were reports in pre marketing studies of three cases of agranulocytosis. This is reflected in a prescribing information warning, but an association hasn't been yet established. Mirtazapine has some advantages in terms of its side effects profile. When compared to SSRIs or SNRIs, mirtazapine is associated with significantly lower frequency of antidepressant-induced sexual dysfunction, gastrointestinal disturbances, and insomnia. Mirtazapine is available as score tablets and orally disintegrating tablets. Score tablets of 15, 30, and 45 milligrams. Orally disintegrating tablets of 15, 30, and 45 milligrams. Mirtazapine's dosage range goes from 15 to 45 milligrams a day. The recommended starting dose is of 15 milligrams a day. Because of mirtazapine's sedative properties, it is given preferably in the evening, prior to sleep. If a patient doesn't respond, the manufacturer recommends uh, dose increases up to a maximum of 45 mg a day. These dose changes should not be made at intervals of less than 1 to 2 weeks. The key points for this presentation are the following. Mirtazapine's mechanism of action involves blockade of alpha-2, 5-HT2A, 5-HT2C, and 5-HT3 receptors. It is FDA approved for only for depression, but there is evidence of efficacy for anxiety disorders and negative symptoms of schizophrenia. It can be used as augmenting agent in combination with venlafaxine. Prominent side effects include sedation and weight gain, and it is dosed between 15 and 45 milligrams a day.